How are you doing today? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to start playing live poker coming up. Welcome to a brand new series, which is going to be all about live poker. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can prepare for your first live poker session, whether you're a novice player or seasoned online grinder. If you're new to poker, one of the best things you can do in order to get into live poker is to play with friends first. Because if you want to get into poker or serious poker tournaments right away that are played for money, the amount that you would lose at first is actually pretty high. I think buying into a $50 buy-in tournament or a $100 buy-in tournament even, maybe there's some $20 and $30 tournaments around, uh, can cost you quite a bit unless you think that sort of money is not that much for you to spend on a, on a weekly or twice a week basis. Then it's obviously completely fine if you think that's you know just a learning opportunity and you can live with the fact that you're going to lose that money most of the time to your opponents. But you can also play with friends first just to get familiar with you know uh, holding the cards, betting the chips with the rules and the flow of the game. I think playing with friends is really good. In fact, I'm going to make a video on this YouTube channel how you can beat your friends at poker. The next step you want to take is that you go to a real tournament. It could be still a free roll or a low stakes buying tournament that you no longer play against friends but against real opponents who are trying to win your money. Now in these kind of tournaments, you know, usually um, with the lower binds, the fee that you pay for the dealer cost is actually quite high compared to the bind. So you're not realistically going to win at these tournaments. So try to keep your bind really on the lower end so that you know this hobby doesn't get very expensive very quickly. In those first tournaments, your main objective is to gain the most experience. And in order to accomplish that, I think that playing very few poker hands and being patient helps you a lot. Especially when you're playing with nine players and when you're one of the first players to act, we call that early position, you don't want to play too many hands. Sticking to pocket pairs, um, for example, sevens or better, and any two picture cards, for example, a 10 and a jack suited, or some of the higher cards like ace jack or ace queen offsuit, is gonna make you succeed much more playing in those tournaments. So stick to a very tight preflop selection, don't play too many hands. Sooner or later, you're gonna win your first tournament. And at that point, it's important to not get too excited about it. Back in, I think, 2011 or 2012, I won about $1,000 playing a $75 buying tournament. And, you know, not long after that, I was buying into a 500 euro buying tournament somewhere in Italy, and I just lost that 500. And I think it was a very significant portion of my net worth back then as a student, and it was fairly stupid, you know, and really based on my experience that I could win at poker. Now, what you could do is, for example, you can deposit online and you know work on your skill set for a little bit longer until you can finally play those tournaments. Or if you are playing those live tournaments, at least find someone you know backing you in some some way or selling some action to someone else and make it maybe a a one-time event in a year uh, that you can also afford. You know, maybe having a job and earning a lot of money. Um, so that you can pay those 500 uh, in binds. But be aware that it's just gonna be one tournament. You're going to lose the tournament 80% of the time without getting anything in return. And then, you know, in order to win, you need a lot of luck. If you do have an online poker background and you're really a seasoned grinder on that felt, getting into live poker is still gonna be very different. And I would still say that these things that I've just mentioned apply to an online player as well. Play tighter than online you know because first you want to get more familiar with live poker and see what's up and you know by sometimes folding a very marginal hand you can gain more experience by staying in the tournaments for a bit longer and really take your spots in a smart way also be aware that you're giving away information uh, you know that is not out there when playing online and that other people give off information. In fact, I'm going to also make a separate video on how to transition from online poker to live poker and what the differences are on this channel. So if you want to see more from that, make sure to subscribe and get the notification bell on so you can get some updates regarding that. 
Last but not least, live poker is a sociable game. So even when you're starting out, somehow participating in live poker makes the whole experience better for everyone instead of just, you know, um, not saying anything and also taking way too much time, not talking to anyone and, and wasting everyone's time. Try to, you know, be a little bit sociable and talk to other players. But here's one thing, when the hand starts and you're taking some action and you wanna not give away too much information, it's definitely time to shut up and make your best play. I hope that you enjoyed this kickoff of this new live poker series. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. And there's going to be some more live poker videos coming up here on this channel. So again, make sure to subscribe if you want to see those videos coming up here on this channel. Thanks for watching and see you for the next one.